Everybody likes to watch uh, you carve the ball and claw, but uh, to be honest with you, the rate that I go would be a really long video. I do have uh, a couple of videos out there under my name if you want to look at uh, some time-lapse photography on uh, carving a, a ball and claw, but uh, this time what I'll do is uh, show some of the steps. So Mary May is the one who taught me how to do it, and she has this... Uh, wonderful 21 step process here uh, which shows how to lay it out and um, a step-by-step -step procedure in uh, completing the ball and claw and uh, I follow it every time I do it so uh, in this particular case uh, this uh, plan of hers is for doing a two and a quarter inch ball and uh, we're doing two and five a so everything is reduced by uh, an eighth of an inch and you can see the layout lines here that are on the bottom of the the foot here this is the uh, outside of the circle and then this is the inside where we're going to carve over or carve down to uh, on the bottom here and uh, so I've just started out by uh, starting to make a cylinder and we're going to carve all four sides out and to, to this particular line and uh, make a cylinder so I started by setting in here with a V chisel and uh, now I'm just using a flat chisel half inch flat chisel here to uh, start to pare it down and of course uh, carving the uh, cherry is a lot harder than carving the mahogany so uh, that's kind of where we're at so uh, I'm making my uh, first step here is uh, to make a cylinder all the way around uh, the foot after it uh, has been marked out so uh, I use a flat chisel and it's uh, easier to do uh, the front ones than it is the uh, the back ones here because you're you're blocked in there so and if the grain is running this way then it's a little hard to dig it out and you have to check to make sure that you've got it square so I use the, the square here and put it on the bottom as you want it to uh, be uh, straight across um, uh, around the cylinder so now we've got we've got this cylinder here and uh, the next thing the next step is to uh, clear off this excess material here uh, which are the uh, talons so uh, we'll trim that back to the line there and then uh, the, the following step is to find the center of the ball and then start to round it over each of the sides uh, round it over to the inner circle so uh, we'll do a little video at that point So I'm uh, continuing to carve the uh, talons over to the correct size. As you can see down here, they're close. And the front ones, of course, are easy, easier than the, the rear ones because you can get at them from either direction. It's close. I can carve, I'm going at it left handed now, and then you could do right handed as well if you have to. Not better left handed than I am right handed, but I can do it both ways. The grain is funny here. smooth either direction. But you get the idea that these um, are now the uh, correct the correct shape here. Uh, they're to the lines that we have drawn across the, the bottom 
so that's pretty much uh, the basic uh, size of the ball and so now we'll start we'll find the center here which should be about seven eighths of an inch and then start to round over each of these down to this ball well as you may be able to see there I've got the first one here rounded over from the center line here down to that uh, inner circle there and I always have a hard time for me seeing that or, or, or carving that uh, curve and so what I do to help me along with it is I have this uh, plaster cast here from Mary May and then this uh, curving gauge or uh, molding gauge here and I'm able to put it on there and measure the lower half of that ball and then I put it on the uh, thing that I'm carving here so that I can verify that in fact it is curved over on the uh, three sides there so the center and, the, and then the two edges so that's pretty good and uh, so I'll work on the other back one next so I'm just about done with rounding over the top part of the uh, rear two openings on the uh, ball and claw and again I use the uh, my gauge here to uh, check to see that uh, the curve was correct after having uh, copied it from the back half of my plastic cast here so that helps me uh, maintain the shape and uh, now we got to work on uh, the front which is the uh, most difficult part of carving I think carving the ball and claw because you've got to come in from the back here at the same time rounding it over and again I'll set my gauge uh, to equal the whole ball and uh, match it so that's the next step well I rounded over the uh, two front balls here this one and here and uh, I used my uh, gauge again to see that they were similar in shape and height so now I've started to cut out the webbing and what I'm attempting to do here is have it go straight back for a little bit and then up and I drew these lines on here just freehand but I want to maintain the the width of the uh, talons uh, or feet I guess they are um, the same so that automatically kind of creates that V uh, that's that's in there so I'm using a a um, number eight chisel number seven and a number eight to uh, dig that out and uh, it helps to have a uh, back bent or uh, a spoon where is it there we are we're getting out this material here so we have this style of a chisel to uh, dig that material out. Well I've been carving away for a while so at last uh, we left you uh, I had worked on the back talon so now uh, I've done the front two this uh, this one here as well as this one over here and uh, let me stand it up here so you can see it but uh, there's obviously a knuckle here and a knuckle there and this is rounded over and you add the nail or talon on the bottom there the same goes here so now I'm working on the front one and uh, you can see that it's narrower here and we'll get this rounded over and uh, create the uh, slope on that one and that'll, uh, that'll finish off the talon Well, I've carved the last talon here on the front and uh, that's pretty much it now other than uh, cleanup you can see the uh, four toes 
all the way around and uh, it's uh, reasonably round. I've got to blend this in to the leg yet and uh, finish rounding this over here a little bit and then clean it up. I'll be using some files uh, at this point to uh, smooth over. It's pretty, it's pretty rough. So um, that's the next step and then I'll show it to you when, uh, when we're done. Well there we have it, uh, the first ball and claw completed. I cleaned it up a little bit with the uh, various files that I have. My favorite is this almond shaped uh, and it's a double cut. So it's a pretty nice uh, Swiss made, AM Swiss. So it's a nice file and it, um, it's a uh, spine and it can clean up the marks that I leave behind uh, because I'm not the greatest carver in the world but uh, as you can see it's a pretty nice uh, ball and claw not the greatest one that I ever did but uh, certainly passable it has to be sanded yet but uh, I think I got the blending into the uh, leg here pretty pretty good and uh, I'll give you a pan of the foot or the whole leg together here we have to oops pan out and I don't know that you can see it but there's the whole leg so one down and three to go <laughs> 